Hi guys, what's going on? Hey, hey it's a what's thing. going on? It's your boy. <laughs> it's your boy. We got some merch out. It's a pin set. I'm about to do 10 minutes on it. Okay, so <laughs> if you can, if you if you can read. Um, we have a title down here that says something about the Kingdom Hearts manga. I haven't come up with a title yet, but I've wanted to do a video on the manga, uh, basically since the channel really picked up. Um, I've got a couple of quests to do something on it. I've never read any of the manga. I have one copy of a KH2, uh, one of the volumes that I got at, like, a Scholastic Book Fair, and I've still never read it. I have- it's in that, that, uh, side table drawer thing over there. By the way, these are my two hosts for the day. I've pulled my friends into this whole debacle, and they're, they're people that I have often mentioned on the channel. Shane ha helped me gather footage for the... What did you help me gather footage for, Shane? Uh, it was for the heart... It was Heartless for the Heartless video. Heart Heartless yeah. video, that's right. Um, and then we got and Sam. I'm the reason Pat can stream. It's true, he's my man in the chair. <laughs> he's my... What did I say? My The Ned to my Tom Holland Spider-Man. He's, he's my man in the chair. He made sure everything was up and running for Twitch. It was like a, a full-time effort getting that running, so... He's not the Sam from the Melody of Memory video, for the record. I have two Sams in my corner. This is this there's is, a shocking amount of Sams that I hear him talk there's about. There's so many Sams, and this is this is Samuel Camel. Um, I'm also gonna put all your social media on the screen, whether you like it or not. But Chain, whoa, great. Chain also cool. give me talk all about that the cloud. talk about the database real quick. Plug the database. Oh, I work there. <laughs> I work there. <laughs> no, uh, I'm also an editor at uh, the Cage Database, which is a website that tries to get everything about the Kingdom Hearts from news stuff to wiki stuff to like merchandise, cutting room floor shit, gameplay mechanics, all that stuff. So I work on that sometimes for fun. Radical. I, Radical. I don't get paid. And I'm a Why guy not? who makes shit posts about Kingdom Hearts on Twitter. <laughs> That's oh, right. I do that That's too. Cool. Yeah, I mean, don't don't we all? Don't we all? Is that not don't just the spice all, of yeah. life? Yeah, beautiful. Regular Pat does it on his YouTube channel. I too. do. <laughs> yeah, check out that <laughs> Sephiroth video. Yeah. All right, so let's talk format. Um, I basically, I went into this thinking it'd be better if I knew as little about the ma the manga as possible. I'm trying not to say manga, like a like a <laughs> the Western manga. or like, the manga, the games. Um, the so the idea was, I'm gonna keep myself completely blind to anything about the manga. I only know a couple of things, and some of them might be included in the questions. Um, really, like, the big thing that I know is that Sora is, is like, propositioned by a prostitute in the Cage 1 manga, and that, that's, like, the weirdest thing that I know from it. But the idea was, I'm gonna have people who have read the manga, shout out to Squires, by the way, he was, like, the guy who did most of the work there. I'll have everybody's name on the list who helped out, but he got, like, the bulk of the, of the, the data here. Um, but I'm gonna have people who are familiar with it compile uh, as much ridiculous stuff, crazy, you know, different things from the game that happen in the manga, make a big list, send it over to Sam and Shane, and then they're going to actually write fake things, and I have to determine from the, the ones that they give me, basically two shoots and a lie, right? That's the format that we're going with here? Yeah, exactly. Two okay. shoots and a lie. And you have to guess the lie. I have to guess the lie. So there are a lot of just crazy, insane things that happen in this series. And I'm going to try and pick apart which ones. I, I'm really interested to see, uh, you know, how well you guys have done to fool me and, and blend these things in. Uh, also, I don't... thank you to also uh, David and Keynote who helped. Oh us yes, with some lies yeah, they as well. they also wrote some lies, uh, so it should be fun. All right, so I guess we'll start with Kingdom Hearts one. Okay, I want to go first. Okay. Sure, yeah, go first. Yeah. All right. While we're on the topic of the Traverse Town prostitute, okay. <laughs> the Traverse Town prostitute tries to show Sora around, at which point a soldier shows up, tears out her heart, and crushes it. After waking up in Traverse Town, Sora wakes up, steals items from Sid's shop, before Sid bursts through the door and calls him a thief. And then finally, Sid annihilates a horde of Heartless with a weapon called a Sid Cannon in Traverse Town and again in Hollow Bash. Okay, wait a minute. All right. <laughs> Two All of right. these are in the manga. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so we know, like I said, the prostitute one is, is true. That definitely happens. So there's two Sid-related things. So either Sora steals from the shop and, and Sid calls him a thief, or Sid destroys a bunch of Heartless with a weapon called a Sid Cannon uh, twice. Well, I could see, like, a desperate, like, like separated from his friends and, and the island Sora, like, trying to steal items to survive. Um, whereas a Sid cannon almost seems too good and fun to be true, but maybe that's what it, what you want me to think. Oh man, this is this is tough. This is already tough. I only I only have two options here too because I know the one. There's only two, and I'm still like, man. <sighs> I think the lie is the Sid cannon one. Is that your final answer? It's, no, <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> oh no, I can't believe this. The Sid cannon's real. The so Sid you, Cannon the is Sid real. The Sid Cannon is indeed real. Oh my god. So you made up the 
you made up the him stealing things. That's not, that seems like yes. very plausible. Like I could We're imagine the pace for the rest of the video. Oh my god! <laughs> like I could have imagined, <laughs> like you know, when when Sora wakes up in the alleyway, like he him just being like starving or something, and him like you know sneaking into like a back door in the accessory shop and then like rummaging items and running away. But uh, no, Sora no, he's too into good that at the, the Sid energy. Cannon is that copyrighted? Is that like is it, does it appear Sid Dash Cannon trademark? I can't believe TM. this. Yeah. I can't believe this. All right. Well, that's zero for me. Win. There should be stakes and if I win or lose. We should come up with something. Uh, I can't afford stakes, so you're not getting anything from me, personally. <laughs> Fair enough. You win, you continue to live. Oh, you good. Lose, and you die instantly. Right. They'll use the Sid cannon, I guess. <laughs> All right. Question All two. Right. Question two. Throughout the Kingdom Hearts 1 manga, Goofy never pronounces Squall's name correctly, instead calling him variations of his name like Scrawl, Stall or scowl, much to Squall's annoyance. Okay. Two, Chip smashes Sora's face with a mop, giving him a bloody nose. Okay. And three, Genie Jafar barely finishes gloating about his newfound power before he's back at his lamp. So, God, I mean, I can't imagine you guys coming up with like some rando character giving Sora a bloody nose. Like, I think that really happened. And then we have Genie Jafar basically taunt to get bodied combo. Like, I feel like that mm. could have happened. <laughs> and then True the combo, first the one was Goofy. Okay, there's there's a precedence with Goofy not being able to pronounce names. Like, he can't say Ventus. He keeps calling him Vegetable or some shit, right? So that actually happens in the games. But that would have preceded this. I think you guys made up the thing with Squall. That's the lie. That's my final answer. Do you have a sound effect, Sam? For correct. I actually don't. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just thought I'd get them all wrong. You had you no were correct. You had no I faith in me. I only expected you to fail. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I'm that's, not gonna lie. I'll just put something in post. That's fine. Um, all right, perfect. I, I logged that out pretty good, though. I think. Yeah. Yeah. You got good it. work. Yeah. Cool, you are cool. one in one. Mm -hmm. This one is just hilarious. I'm very excited for this one. Okay. okay. One. Aladdin's first wish in the manga was to escape the Cave of Wonders rather than rescuing everyone from quicksand. Two, when Riku stabs Maleficent with the Keyblade apart, she doesn't become a dragon, she just dies. And three, off panel, Sid installs a video call feature and a fax machine while adding the first navigation <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Jesus with the Sid stuff. Is Sid just like out of his mind in this manga? Like what's what's going on with him? If this is <laughs> true. Just an, uh, omnipotent Which <laughs> I almost think it is because it's like, I'm not to like shade you guys, but it's like way too out there for you guys to come up with. Like, I don't think you you came up with like Sid putting a fax machine. But I also had this joke recently in my stream where like Sid would like install various things on your gummy ship without asking. So like, life imitates art. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> that's what I'm wondering. God, the Sid thing. Oh god, I feel like I'm being like gaslighted with the Sid thing. It's so silly. I think I think the lie is that Maleficent doesn't turn into a dragon; she just dies. I think that's the lie. I think. Everything, the other ones are true. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> What's the lie? What's the lie? Uh, the, the lie is Alan's first wish in the manga was to escape yeah. the Cave of Wonders. Who wrote that boring lie? It's so boring. <laughs> I think it was a collab between me and David or something. So each of you individually have really funny lies, but put together you just make the most mundane. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's so boring. We had to make some believable. Yeah, that's fair. Damn it. So Sid actually... <laughs> installs a fax machine and a video call <laughs> functionality. Oh, okay. Very good. Yeah. And then... Okay, fax, fax machines were, like, might have been still used when they sure. were, when yeah. they came out a <laughs> yeah. little bit. I mean, it'd be funnier if they weren't, to be honest. It'd be way funnier <laughs> if fax machines were way, like, way out of the picture when he did it. So then Maleficent really just <laughs> dies after she gets stabbed, huh? They don't do the dragon. Yep. Yeah, they skipped Dragon Maleficent. Oh my god, a Kingdom Hearts mod that would just replace all of, like, the story, like, baseline or yeah. base game events with the manga events. manga oh, percent so i would funny. love to see this yo it's oh coming my out God. it's coming out on pc Modders, at the end of the month please right? listen kingdom hearts yeah. on pc march 30th yeah. make it happen yeah all right, all right. All right. So number four in hollow bastion the infamous sora versus riku fight doesn't happen riku explains that sora has Kairi's heart captive as usual then he tells sora to use the keyblade of heart to stab himself and sora just does it without argument two in order to defeat Riku Ansem in Hollow Bastion, Sora's strategy at first involves pulling down his skirt around his ankles to trip him. <laughs> and three, at the end of the KH1 manga, King Mickey is in his calm outfit. He also, he has a shirt. So either Riku just tells Sora, hey, stab yourself, and he does it. Um, that seems a little too out there. I don't think that's true. 
Um, Re <laughs> Sora pulls down Riku's skirt around his ankles to trip him <laughs> as his main strategy. That sounds plausible. That could be either or. And then the third one was um, Mickey's in his calm outfit. I could see, now that I'm trying to, I feel like I'm learning more about the world of the manga and how silly it is. Like, I knew it was silly, like, that's why I did the project, but, like, I didn't think it was Sid Cannon fax machine silly. I think it could also be Sora pulling Riku's skirt down around his ankles as, like, a 1930s physical comedy hijinks chicanery move. I could see that being real. <laughs> so, I'm kind of leaning towards the Mickey calm outfit being a lie, because it's like, would they even know? I mean, I guess they probably would know what his calm outfit would look like at that point, but, like, it seems like another mundane thing that someone just came up with to throw it in there. So I think that's the lie. I think the Riku stuff all happened, and you came up with the Mickey thing. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> The, uh, the, the skirt pulling is the lie. Oh man, damn it. I really, let's, <laughs> God, that's so good because it really seems like it could be a thing. Okay, fair enough. I can't believe it. <laughs> one, Aerith puts salt in the lemonade that she made. Two, one of the starting items that Squall and Co. give Sora is a scarf so that his small ears don't get killed cold. <laughs> okay. And three, Donald and Sora regularly mildly curse throughout the cage one month. No way. No way. Do they? Oh man. I feel like that's real, because I can't imagine you guys would just make it so it's Sora and Donald. I feel like if it, it would be a different detail if it were a lie. Um, I feel like Aerith would put salt in, her, in the lemonade, because she's like not all that bright in either the game or the manga, I don't think. I think that's because of her voice. Yes, yeah, <laughs> I think. And then the middle one was the little ears thing. <laughs> that sounds like something that David would write. Squall and Co. <laughs> give Sora scarves that his small ears don't get cold. That sounds like something that David and Keynote would come up with. The The phrase small ears seems like... <laughs> seems <laughs> so it's not... Ears. So I think that's the lie. I think the salt is real. Yeah, I think that's the lie. And you know what that silence means? It means you got a career! Yeah, <laughs> yeah I got one! <laughs> yeah, it's the little, right. little ears for sure. That was the giveaway. Yeah. His widow that ears. Like God of that was actually ears. mine. That oh, was it? Ears, you know? <laughs> Very well done. Number one. Donald's this ship runs on half of the is treated <laughs> is treated literally. Okay. The gummy ship begins to malfunction if the pilot isn't smiling. Okay. Two. When Sora does his happy face, Donald comments on how stupid it looks and asks him to try again several times. <laughs> okay, okay. One of these faces includes Sora doing blackface. <laughs> no, Three. No way. Sora refuses to equip Donald and Goofy with items because he'll know they'll waste them. Shit. Damn it. Until you got to that third one, I was I felt confident. Okay, there's no way you came up with the second one. You'd all get cancelled if you wrote that in, even as a goof. So there, <laughs> that definitely happened in the manga somehow. I guess it's just okay for them to do that at that time. I'm not, it never was okay, but they got away with it, is what I'm saying. So, that happened, unfortunately. Okay, the happy faces thing seems, like, too cute. And then, like, the item thing seems too cute as well. Like, I feel like those are both, like... I feel like the item thing is, like... It's too meta, it's too self-aware that, that they would waste the items. Like, but it's so stupid that the boat would literally run on happy faces. God damn it, I think... God, well, obviously I'm between those two. I think you came up with Sora not wanting to give items to Donald because he'd waste them. I feel like the happy faces thing could be legit. You think that's the lie? I think the lie is the the wasting items one. Okay. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm about to get canceled here right on you. Wait, you, you, wrote, you wrote the blackface one? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. Listen, well, he, you tricked me because I thought, okay, it's the KH1 manga. I mean, I guess at the time, I that's mean... Why, that's why I wrote, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. and also we like, the infamous... old school Disney. Yeah. I'm thinking old school Disney. I'm thinking, like, Jinx from Pokemon. Like, this is all, like, kind of around the same era, like, early, like yeah, late right. 90s, early 2000s. Well, you really got me there. I was like, hmm, that can't be, that can't be fake. That's gotta be, that's gotta be true. All right. One, Goofy offhand mentions that he's also a father to King Triton and the okay. two chat while Donald speaks with Sora. Two, in Atlantica, King Triton learns that Sora and co. are not from the world because, unlike Goofy, tortoises don't wear hats. And three, Oogie's Manor is filled with cheap haunted house tricks such as cardboard cutout ghosts and spiders on string. <laughs> okay. But the first one, when you said Goofy mentioned he was a father to King Triton, I thought you meant, like, Goofy was King Triton's father. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm glad you said that because I, I thought the exact same thing okay. when I first read that. Okay, the phrasing, okay. <laughs> um, King Triton, I feel like that could be real. 
Um, that seems benign enough and kind of cute. I feel like that could be something that actually happens. I feel like a cheap gag thing could be real. I feel like Oogie would definitely like just go to like Party City and like buy a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> He's be like, oh shit, people are coming over. I gotta hang up the fake spider. <laughs> um, spirit Halloween store. Yeah, ex exactly. Um, Even better, just just hang the Spirit Halloween thing banner over the car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the banner. Um, I spirit think Halloween has acquired Ogie's banner. <laughs> I think the hat thing is so stupid that you guys made it up. I think the tortoise is not wearing hats thing is the lie, and the other ones are true. I'm not even gonna play a sound effect because all of those relies what <laughs> no i've been yeah. bamboozled <laughs> fun little bonus round where i come out an idiot regardless of what i say i just want to see pat suffer all right <laughs> great uh first so we're on the chain of memories now so number one in a throwaway line sore references doremon's anywhere door Two, the Denzins of castle oblivion basement had a job chart to divvy up chore like responsibilities and three, in Halloween Town, Dr. Fingelstein had successfully programmed the Heartless to wiggle and dance. I feel like the job chart thing is real. I feel like that's very in line with, like, a day's sort of thing, where, like, they kind of give the organization more personality. I do know a couple things about the organization from the manga, like Larkseen, like, reading that, that, like, Marquis de Sade book. I know that's a thing. Um, I know that they're a lot more fleshed out in the books, so I think that's real. I feel like I'm, I might be just being fooled by this like i think the little shout out to the the anime is real and i think that you guys made up that they successfully got the heartless to dance that's correct yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you're three to four so you're catching up you're okay cool. all right you're catching up all right one axel doesn't incinerate vexen he impales him with a chakra it takes up two whole pages two okay. jiminy cricket is literally ride or die with sora telling him with a maniacal grin sora we're friends aren't we when you die I don't. <laughs> no way. And, and three, Naminé is shown solving a crossword puzzle to pass the time. I could see Naminé solving a crossword puzzle. It could be so mundane that you just made it up, but I could just, I could perfectly see like a pan shot in Castle Oblivion where instead of doodling, she's doing a crossword. So I think that's real. Now the thing, one other thing I knew about the manga is that I'm pretty sure, oh, spoilers for the manga, by the way. I mean, I guess, I guess that's kind of up top. We should have said like, <laughs> it's like 10 years old at this yeah, point. Sure, yeah, sure. Yeah. But like, I guess like, I'm obviously spoiling it for myself for the sake of, for the sake of the art, you know, but um, I'm never, content. yeah, for the content. Um, I would say, cause I know that I'm pretty sure Syax kills Axel um, or something, or maybe, yeah, I think Syax kills, kills Axel by like fucking, disemboweling him with his claymore not disemboweling but like stabbing him with it um so i think the vexen thing could be a play on that which you might have made up and then what was the middle one uh jiminy is literally right or or die die. with sora telling him with a maniacal grin sora we're friends aren't we when you die i die that's so crazy and creepy like even for the manga i don't think it's real i think that's th there's no way jiminy cricket is literally ride or die with sora that's made up God damn it, no! That is in the bunk. <laughs> what? What? The lie I... is that Naminé is shown oh, the crossword puzzle. Oh, come on. Come Idiot. on, come God, on. I need... crossword oh, my brain bad. is so small and smooth, I can't believe this. All right, number whatever. Riku <laughs> and Riku Replica switched clothing in an attempt to confuse the organization, but it backfires when Vexen immediately notices. <laughs> okay. Marluxia and Larkseen eat Nomura brand fried chicken at one point. Hmm. And three, when Larkseen is beating up Sora, Jiminy taunts her and tries to get her to fight him instead. Oh my god, aggro Jiminy is so funny to me. <laughs> that ride or die Jiminy. <laughs> well, I mean, that would definitely be in line with what was real that you guys told me about just now, that Jiminy is just like this bloodthirsty psychopath. Um, we define Jiminy as this horrible creature. I mean, he is you know, a horrible maybe creature. He's Enter ready the darkness. To... I, yeah, your that's one right. board game video was appropriate. That's right. It was completely <laughs> correct. Okay. Burn so up. Jiminy taunting Larkseen. I feel like that could be real. Riku and Riku replica swapping clothes is so stupid. And that was the middle one. Marluxia uh, and Larkseen eat Nomura brand fried chicken. That's so stupid. That's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All of these are stupid, and we Nomura love them. brand. Well, they're all stupid, so one of them... So there's either, it's gotta be the most stupid, or the least Or the stupid. least stupid, right. Or you're trying to trick me and it's a middle stupid one. Because I think the <laughs> most stupid is Larxena Marluxia eating Nomura brand fried chicken. Let me just say that again. <laughs> Nomura brand fried chicken. If that's real, I'm gonna be so pissed. Getting that NFC. <laughs> yeah. 
I think the Riku replica and Riku swapping clothes is kind of like a fun little offshoot gag that could be in the manga. I think that's probably real. And then because of what you said about Jiminy, but you could be trying to trick me. I think that there's no, the chicken thing has got to be the fake one. Please. <laughs> <laughs> what it's was it? The, sw uh, the switching clothes. God one. damn. So Nomura brand for our chicken is real and... Jiminy does in fact tr try to taunt Larkzy into beating him up instead of so Well, I'm glad that's true. I'm, I'm at least glad that that's not not made up because that it's really amusing to me that Jiminy is just like on the warpath. I can't believe <laughs> that the fried chicken thing is real. So what? Like, it's just does anyone draw any attention to it, or is it just like kind of a? Uh, do we know? No, they're just eating chicken in the bucket. Uh, I think the bucket says like Namora fried chicken or something. You know like what? That. Now that I think of it, it's not that weird. Whatever. <laughs> just let's move on. <laughs> All right, one. <laughs> Sora, Donald, and Goofy use Blizzard and Fire to make a sprinkler, in which gets Larxene wet, at which point she spontaneously explodes and dies. Okay. Two, Sora plays a moment's, re a moment's reprieve card to enter one of the areas in Wonderland, which transforms the room into a spa. Okay. Three, Castle Oblivion has vending machines that sell items such as elixirs and potions. All right, I think... So one general thing that I know about the manga is that characters are kind of dealt with, like like boss fight characters are dealt with in kind of like crazy ways. So like speed run, right? Exactly. <laughs> so I think the Lark scene thing, as crazy as it is, I think is true. I could see like, oh, let's do a team attack where we like electrocute this woman and kill her. I feel like that's actually real. And then we have vending machines or the moments reprieve. I don't think the manga would get so ticky tack and granular to specify, oh, this is a moments reprieve card. I feel like the vending machine thing is true, and you guys came up with the Wonderland Spa thing. Uh? Uh? What's that? Um? What's that I hear? Is it a correct? It's correct! Yeah! <laughs> I, dude, I was just waiting for the fart noise to drop again. <laughs> <laughs> Chain, it's your turn. Number, number N plus N. I'll edit Dude. it in post. I'll put it. I'll put it. You guys lost track of the numbers. So I'll just put it in post. <laughs> After defeating Marluxia, Sora, Donald, and Goofy discovered that there was an elevator to the entrance the whole time. When they tried to write it down, they discovered they need an elevator key card, which Repliku took with him when he left the castle. Okay. Two. Uh, Riku Replica only meets Riku in a few gag strips at the end of the Com manga. Their story arc is completely removed. Huh. Three. When Sora and Marluxia are having the final showdown, Namine is pinned to a wall with thorns with her arms spread Jesus cr on the cross style. Oh my god. Okay, so let me logic this out. We know that you guys came up with the Riku swapping clothes thing. So if that's not true, then I have okay. reason to... Denia, wasn't that the fake one? Yeah, you did. Don't try to gaslight me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna gaslight you here on um, the screen. So Riku and Riku Replica not crossing paths seems like one of those bigger changes that they could make for the adaptation. I mean, the nominate thing seems so weird and fucked up that it might be true. Kind of like the blackface one. Oh, wait, no, you came up with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did come up with that one, yes. <laughs> um, that one was fake. The yeah. elevator thing seems long and, like, really written out and specific, so I think you guys came up with the elevator thing. I think the other two things happened and the elevator thing's made up. Two in a row. Oh, yeah. I got it, yeah. Oh, my God. All right, go. don't call it a comeback, baby. That nominee pinned to the wall, uh, Jesus on the cross style, just reminds me of like this one Tumblr post that was just like, uh, this person's dad was asking like, it's like why, uh, why is like Japanese media they always like reference like the Bible and stuff, and it's literally just that Marge Simpson meme where it's like holding up the cross. It's like I just think it's, neat. I just think it's neat. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's neat. Yeah, like let's just make nominee crucified. Why not? Cool. Yeah. One. Riku finds what? a half-eaten piece of meat on the floor that Namine had. He then uses that as his new luck good luck charm. Two, there are canonically hundreds of Vex and Replicas, and they kind of see Riku Replica as like some kind of leader. When Riku Replica tries to leave and find his own way, all of the Vex and, Vex and clones follow him one after the other. And three, one of the early failed Replica prototypes is a sentient puddle that vaguely resembles Vex. Okay. <laughs> I <laughs> I actually knew about the Vexen replica thing. Um, I I did know about that. Um, now that you mention it, I remember reading about that like on a wiki at some point. You said that Riku just finds a piece of meat and uses that as a good eaten meat on the floor. Is that it nominated. Namura brand fried chicken? Is that what the meat is? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um, that sounds so stupid that it, even the manga wouldn't do that. I feel like the Vexen puddle Re thing could be a real thing. I think like David wrote like. There's a piece of meat that Riku found and use it as a good luck charm. I think that's fake. Riku replica seems like the 
kind of guy that would like buy gamer girl bath water. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. But yeah, me Sam. Sam, play this. All right. I have no idea which one you said. I completely <laughs> forgot. I have the mind, the attention span of a top. The meat play one. The, play the sound. Play the <laughs> fart noise. Great. Great. It's the puddle one. No, Sam, you're yeah, adding points. Oh, no. <laughs> I lost so many points. points, idiot. Oh, okay. man. So it was the puddle. It was the puddle. Yep, yeah. The puddle. All right. That sounded all so right. that sounded so Davidian that David would write. <laughs> <laughs> Davidian. All right. Riku all replica right. leaves Castle Oblivion to go soul searching okay. with a handful of vexing replicas following him. Two, Lark scene is shown to be reading a book written by the Marc de Sade. Okay. Namesake of sadism. Right. And three... Zexion is shown read to be reading a cookbook while Vexen and Lexius speak to one another about Riku Replica. I feel like I can process of elimination this one because I mentioned the Marquis de Sade before, and then the Vexen with the uh, the clones with the Riku Replica seems like a playoff of the previous question, so I think the fake one is the, the cookbook one. That was extremely fast. <laughs> no, well, that was also kind you of a to... giveaway because yeah. it was kind yeah, of a repeat true. of the last two. Yeah, because you, you knew the Marquis you de Sade. You got it right. <laughs> Cool. All Yay. right. Yay. Okay. One, Aladdin frees Genie before confronting Jafar, and Sora and Donald pretend to be Jafar's genies to stall for time. Okay. Two, Marluxia and Lurxine are shown to be drinking from cans that conspicuously cover up everything written before 0% alcohol slash less than 1% juice. And okay. three, Marluxia and Lurxine chit chat after tossing each other rose voltage soda drinks in a panel before Axel and Vexen arrive. Oh my god. They're just vibing. Um, <laughs> Those guys being dudes. These are all so weird. I mean, the the the, the, the genie, yes. like the Jafar thing, is like the least weird one, I guess. But they're all so weird. Those last, the, the middle one seems too specific to be fake. I feel like that really happened. I don't know, but that's so dumb though. <laughs> God, I just like I'm just like having this inner mental struggle with myself over: is it dumb or is it just what the manga would do, or is it both? Um, is that hmm. what the manga wants you to think? That's what the manga wants ah. me to think. I think the fake one is like the rose voltage thing. I feel like the other two are real. You got it. Oh, yeah. I did. Oh, yes. You're okay. now tied. Uh, oh, right. Three, four, five, right. six, seven, seven. I so. feel like I'm learning. Pull ahead. I'm, I'm learning the game now. And just as you're learning the game, we're switching games. Kingdom Great. Two is oh, my favorite. Time. Okay, let's go. Ooh, what a segue, James. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Thank you. I've never written one. Sora intervenes in a fight between Hainer and Cypher. Okay. He does so by throwing a water balloon at Cypher, slamming cotton candy into his mouth, and then flinging a festival mask onto his face. Okay. So specific. Two. True combo. Olette is canonically the best skateboarder among the Twilight Town gang and uses it to quickly earn her share of the money for the beach trip while doing mail delivery. And three. Yen Sid gives Sora a bizarre hand-knitted mitten for the Keyblade. It goes over the head of the Keyblade and vaguely resembles King Mickey. All right. I feel like the Yensid thing is really sweet. I, and I, I, my heart's really worn by that, by him, like, because he's always just sitting on his stupid ass all the time. And to think that he, maybe <laughs> he, he may was, as well be knitting. He is, right. <laughs> he has, like, at mu least muscle atrophy. Yeah. <laughs> at least he knit something for Sora. Um, I honestly feel like that's real. And then the fucking cypher thing is so specific there's so much going on there i think that's real and then i feel like the manga doesn't care about specific mini games like it's not that granular i think it'd be funny if Olette like actually had something beyond just being a nice girl who wants to do her homework but i don't think it's true i think you guys came up with Olette being the money maker for the group by being good at skateboarding that is correct. Namora can never write good character development for her, his female characters. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a sad hollow win, but it's a win nonetheless. <laughs> to be fair, he didn't write. He didn't write the manga, so that does. True, say but they fun. had they had nothing to go off. He of, had influence. So, yeah, <laughs> that's true. All right, uh, I'm killing it. Now I'm winning, right? Yeah. All right. All right. I'm so ready for this one. Yensid is the one to tell Pete that Maleficent is dead before Sora and co. stroll upon the scene. Two, Yensid directs Sora and co. to the top of the tower with stairs that function like an escalator. And three, Vexen made at least 44 replicas of himself. Vex replica number 44 kills Zoldan. I actually know that that one's true. I remember reading about that at some point. Yeah, because I was, I think I wanted to know, like, how the organization members died, like, in the manga uh, at some point, like, in the distant past, and I feel like I remember that being a thing. I definitely know that there's 44 Vex and clones, now that you put a number to it. So that's real, and then it's either Yensid Escalator or Yensid telling Sora, that Mal or Yensid okay. telling Pete. Telling that Pete that Maleficent Okay. Dead. I feel like the Escalator thing is true, it's a fun visual gag, I think, 
So I think you guys just came up with changing how Pete finds out that Maleficent's dead. I think the first one is the lie. God damn it! I had I was a 50-50 and I blew it. Now I'm tied again. I, th I thought you were gonna get that one right. Uh, it sounded like uh, damn, so damn. Okay, You're so close. Uh. All right. All right. Vex and Replica number 38 gets lost in Beast's castle while trying to find the room with the Beast Rose. He mutters to himself and doubles back through a corridor of darkness. Two. Mulan's cover is blown when she's seen bathing by Sora Donald Goofy. 3. Meg actually dies, but Hercules strong arms Hades into bringing her and Orin back to life after he returns from his dive into the river Styx. I mean, if I'm going off of the last question with Vexen Replica 44 killing Zaldan, which I would assume still happens in Beast Castle, I think there's reason that the replicas would be there, so I think that's true. Meg dying, and what was the middle one again? Uh, Mulan's, uh, Mulan's cover. cover. Yeah. I feel like that could be real, too. She's Damn a it. girl. She, you're pretending to She's be a, a boy, ain't boy, you? Boy, aren't you? Uh, I think... God, that's so pervy that it could be real. Yeah, I think Meg dying is the one that you made up. God damn it. No! 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 Stop giving him points away. I lost it. Now I'm not even tied anymore. All right. So what? <laughs> so it was It was the Mulan thing was fake. Nope. What? To You're losing another point for that one. You're what? Right. It was the Vexen one? Yeah, it was the Vexen one. It was the Vexen one. Oh, it was we worded... So... 44. It was worded so stupidly specifically, I thought it had to be real. All right. Yay! You tricked me. All right. All right. One, Syx keeps trackers on Demix's clothing. Two, Zaldan is terrified of the transformed furniture in Beast Castle, calling them abomination. For this reason, he tells Beast to lock them in the dungeon. And three, Dusks communicate by wiggling, and Kyra uses this communication to convince them to let her out of the jail cell. She thanks them with an accidental th dusk profanity. Oh man, that's funny. The dusk thing is so silly. Damn it. Fuck. It's so silly. That's gotta be. That's gotta be real though. I don't. I don't think you guys are coming up with that. Demix being tracked seems a little too self-aware. Zaldan being afraid of the furniture and having a reason as to them being locked up seems like it could be true. I think Demix being tracked is the fake one that you guys made up. Come on. God, no! <laughs> I'm using a different sound effect. For this uh, one. So it was Zaldan, right? <laughs> you there's electrocuted no, him. There's no way the Kyrie Dusk thing was a product of your imagination. No, it wasn't. That was a team of, like, exhausted Japanese writers. There's no way. Okay. <laughs> so it was Zaldan being afraid of the furniture. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Damn That's it. Fake. Damn, I really, oh man, okay, I felt really good about that one too. Now I'm like in the red again. All right, in a gag strip depicting Kyrie hanging out with the Twilight Town gang, Kyrie and Hainer have an arm wrestling match and she wins handily. Two, Sykes impales Axel with his claymore in a fight over Kyrie. All right, I know that's that's true. Three, Olette, wielding a bat of nail studs, tries to defend Kyrie from being kidnapped by Axel. <sighs> man, it sure would be cool if Olette did something, but as we just... But maybe she does. Maybe this is a reverse... Maybe a we're gaslighting. A man. switcheroo. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, I do. So one of these characters is going to assert their dominance over other people. I think you guys came up with the arm wrestling match. I think Olette got to do something cool, and she just had like a random nail bat. Please. That is correct. Yes. Yay! That's so weird and silly. I'm glad she got to do something. Yay. Finally. All right. One, Riku, Kairi, Donald, Goofy, and Sora all work together to defeat Zigbar. Two, the Saiyaks and Luxor fight happens simultaneously, with Jiminy Cricket challenging Luxor to a card game. Luxor loses and dies instantly. Three, Sora is knocked to the ground while fighting the Grim Reaper Heartless in Port Royal, and Jack Sparrow briefly takes control of Sora's Keyblade and tosses it at the Heartless, scattering its coins. I think Jiminy being so extra it is in line with everything i've learned about him during this video i think that thing happened he defeated luxor as crazy as that is i truly think that's real and then the first one was the uh, all of them working together to beat zigbar i i don't know if the manga is going to reference the fact that jack was able to wield the keyblade for or no rather that jack was like trying to get the keyblade i feel like they're just not going to get that granular and one for one so i think you guys made up jack using the keyblade our life is alive! That's correct! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! So Jiminy Cricket did in fact kill Luxord. Jesus. You know, I, I am starting to earn like a begrudging respect for the man, for the bug. The man, the myth, the, the bug, bug, the legend. <laughs> James Cricket. Alright, Luke Sword and Jack Sparrow play a game of Liar's Dice in a one-off panel, which Jack loses by being too drunk to read the dots. 
Two, the three good fairies put Sora in a dress before outfitting him with his dry form clothing. All right. Three, Demix doesn't fight Sora in Raiding Garden, so he lives until they reach the world that never was. Oh, man, they all seem plausible to me. I could see like the mon like one of the one of the volumes ending with like this funny little thing with Jack and Luxord having this this dice game. Um, that seems real. That seems like something the manga would do from what I'm learning about it now. Sword being put in a dress seems like something the manga would do. And the last one again? Uh, Demix doesn't fight Sora in Raiding Garden. He lives until the world that never was. I think that's like another mundane one that you guys came up with. I think uh, I think that's the lie. Nope, idiot. Get owned. <laughs> <laughs> no sound effect. You're not you even playing a sound. the sound effect. Nope. Damn it. Nope. So what was the lie? The lie was Luxord and Jack Sparrow playing a game of Liar's Dice. Damn, that was so cool. I'm, not, I know. I'm upset that that's not true. <laughs> that's we like came really... up with like really cool things. Damn it's it. Shame that... Oh, all right. Yeah. Zigbar shoots Shan Yu in the head, killing him instantly. <laughs> Two, Mushu doesn't appear in the KH1 manga, so when Sora and Ko arrive at the Land of Dragons, he has an existential crisis since they don't recognize him. And three, Simba mistakes Donald for Zazu at their first meeting. I don't think they're going to add a Disney character into the manga, so I think that's the lie. I feel like I keep going with the third one, but I really think that's the lie. Huh? Huh? Eh? Yeah! <laughs> Logic that again. one out. All right. All right, bring it back, baby. All right. The ghost trait has incredible <laughs> refreshments. Okay. Sora and Donald stuff their pockets with sweets, but Goofy chastises them. Uh, Diz locks Namine in a closet until Axel comes to get her out. Okay. Uh, and Yen Sid blows up Pete when he tries to invade the Mysterious Tower. He blows him up? What do you mean by that? <laughs> He blows him up. <laughs> That's all you get. That's all you get. I'm not going to elaborate on things that aren't on the paper. <laughs> I feel like you guys would do better than Yen Sid blows him up. So I think that's true for whatever that's worth. <sighs> and then Namine being locked in the closet. What was the first one again? The ghost train has yes. incredible refreshments. So and Donald stuff the treats into their pockets and Goofy is like, no. I feel like Goofy, I feel like Goofy would join in on that though. I feel like you guys made up the ghost train thing. Please. Oh, you're good at this. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yes. One ahead again. There we go. Oh. Bring it back. All right. One, Lingering William wields <laughs> a boat oar joins, and joins in the fight against Barbosa. Hence, is lactose intolerant. And three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and three, Santa Claus tells Sora that both he and Riku on the naughty, are on the naughty list, and Sora faints. Oh, man. Well, they both deserve to be on the naughty list. I feel like that make that checks out. That adds up. Pence being lactose intolerant is so stupidly who cares that I feel like it's true. I, I can't like how do you logic lingering William fighting Barbosa with the ore? Will Turner, for the record, not lingering yeah. oh. Will. Not lingering <laughs> Will. Will Turner. Okay, all right. Lingering William. Th great, of we course. We should have elaborated Thank on Thank you. I forgot <laughs> I forgot that they're completely separate characters and not a nickname. Okay. That, I feel like, could be real. Thank you for clarifying, because I was going to go with that, because it's so stupid. Um, <laughs> Lingering Will shows up in Port Royal. <laughs> so, uh, Will joining in the fight against Barbosa and middle one. Uh, the middle one was Pence's lactose intolerant. I think, that, I think actually that's fake. That's so stupid. You are well, correct. You're right. Yeah. Like, they're all fake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, okay, at least think it. Uh, the thing is about Pence being lactose intolerant. He can't eat sea salt ice cream. That oh was, uh, yeah, duh. But that yeah, they're all fake. <laughs> I, I wasn't. I wasn't using that at all. But I should have. But yeah. I was like, what's the one thing you see these characters eat ever? It has lactose in it. <laughs> Fair enough. All lies again. Bamboozled. Finally, moving on to today's. Okay. Which is, like my favorite. It is the best manga. I'm cool. so excited. <laughs> All right, here All we right. go. Dusks enjoy practical pranks. While Roxas is in, is in his brief coma, they draw all over his face with markers on numerous occasions. Okay. Elixirs ha have an expiration date, and the Organization 13 Moogle sells the expired products at a reduced price. Okay. Roxas seems to primarily buy the, the expired elixirs. Okay. And three, on one occasion, Zigbar draws glasses on Roxas's comatose face with a marker. All right, so one and three are kind of in the same spirit. I can see the dust having like some kind of whimsical properties to them after that, like apparently true wiggle sign language sequence with Kyrie. So I feel like that's probably true. Zigbar also drawing on his face seems a little redundant, but I don't know why you guys would make up something that close to the real thing if I'm pretty sure the dust thing is true. 
Um, the expired elixir thing, I think, is the lie. <laughs> no, God, you were so close. Oh, you were so close. It I was thought Zigbar. You were on the right track. It was Zigbar. Yeah, they're too close. It was yeah, Zigbar. Zigbar. Damn it! Damn. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. Sykes doesn't know what the word motivation means until Roxas uses it. No way. <laughs> Ze <laughs> Zenith spends his days off just staring at Kingdom Hearts, and Zigbar threatens Mr. Smee at gunpoint to keep the organization a secret from Captain Hook. How would Sykes not know the word motivation? He was not an idiot. He was a smart guy even when before he was Syax. That's that's so stupid. That's gotta be you had to have made that up. There's no way. Why? That's so weird. Please be fake. The Syax is one. that your final it's, answer? It is my final that's, answer. It's real. <laughs> it's real. What? It's so real. S what? Syax doesn't know the word motivation? Do we have right, any he more? He do things out of motivation. He does things. <laughs> it's literally just the. It's like, do this because I told you to. Oh my because god. Because he told me to. He doesn't, under he told me to. He doesn't understand the word motivation ro until Rox right. is... What? That's <laughs> stupid. So wait, what's the fake one? Uh, the fake one is Zigbar Smee. threatens Mr. Smee at gunpoint. Man, I, I knew Zemnis I knew staring at Kingdom Hearts had to be true. That seems so him. Classic Zem. Yeah. But uh, damn. I thought Zigbar, after killing Sean Yu, right? By shooting him in the head. I thought maybe <laughs> we're allowed to get that violent, but I guess not. I guess now this is different manga. We can't be violent. In right? This yeah. Point. Yeah. Okay. So Syax doesn't know the word motivation. Okay. The moon yeah. does not bestow you with vocab skills. I guess the Queen of Hearts develops a crush on Luxord after he builds her a house of cards. Okay. Number two, L Luxord grows huge in Wonderland, and Syax tells him he isn't allowed back in the organization until he's normal size again. Okay. And number three, Demix asks Pence to fill out his organization recon report in exchange for pretzels and watermelon. Ah, uh, I could see the Queen of Hearts thing being true, because I know Luxord goes to Wonderland in the game. I don't know why he would build her a card tower, card castle thing, but I could see that being real. Um, that's my OTP right there. Forget this fucking Akuroku bullshit. Let's get Lux Queen Queen Sword. <laughs> Queen, Luke Sword. Queen, Queen Luke Sword. That's my ship. Um, Luke Sword Hearts. It's really funny to me that Sykes being like, you are, sim you are simply too big to rejoin. You have to shrink down, or else you're not allowed back in. I could see that being... Oh, this isn't, this isn't he's, he isn't allowed in the organization. It's He isn't allowed back in the castle. Oh, okay. The building. I like it I like it better if there's like a height <laughs> required. You, you have to be like, you have oh, to be like in this certain height bracket to be allowed in. You're simply too big. <laughs> What is the last one again? Uh, Demix asks Pence to fill out his organization recon report in exchange for pretzels and watermelon. I think that's a little too specific for, like, I don't think the manga is going to care or remember that the gang wanted pretzels or watermelon. I think that's the why. Yay! Nice. You're right. What's the score at now? Tied again. Tied, all right. Um, we keep bouncing back. All right. Like, he catches up. And, and then he doesn't. All right. On the day Zemnis meets with Roxas to give him his new name, Roxas reads the floating letters as Saxor at first. Okay. Roxas throws his keyblade, smashing it through his bedroom window. And three, Roxas and Demix go to Olympus together. Roxas thinks about training and comedically imagines himself and Demix as swole as Lexeus. Oh, man. All right. Saxor is something that I see, like, on the internet, so I feel like that has to have come from the manga. I mean, I feel like people could just come up with that themselves. It's not like there's a ton of combinations, but I feel like Roxas misreading it as Saxor could be real. It's really funny to me to think of Roxas and Demix imagining themselves swole like Lexius. I think that one's fake. As funny as it is, I think it's fake. Nope. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's the middle one, right? Not even that. It's what? the Saxor thing. Damn it. I felt really confident on that. I guess people just come up with Saxor, and I was yeah. I just that was just the yeah. That's just that's like I want to be Roxas and Sora, but Roxas is taken of Saxor. Saxor. <laughs> I'm so original, right? My original character, Saxor. That the Saxor thing was like a Tumblr text post or something. Makes that sense. That sounds right. All right, so now miscellaneous. This can, this can come from any of the games, any right. books, All anywhere. Right. Roxas and Luke Sword are sent on a mission together. They infiltrate the White Rabbit's home in Wonderland, and the White Rabbit comes home early. Roxas decides the best idea is to dress up as a maid and say, Welcome back, Master Sama. Two, although slights are never explained in the manga, Sora, Donald, and Goofy perform a trinity to limit on a heartless swarm, by Sora throwing a bunch of cards together on the ground. Okay. And number three, 
One of the broom servants is seen carrying buckets in Merlin's house, despite Yen Sid not appearing yet. This is in the King of Hearts 1 manga. I think the slights thing is clever. I think it's almost too clever for the manga. I think you guys came up with throwing all the cards on the ground to make a big Trinity limit happen. I think that's the fake one. I could see Roxas pretending to be a maid in the manga. You are right! Yeah, baby. So we tie now, or am I one ahead? You are tied 14 to 14. All right. All right. Shion to Shion. Okay, here we go. Sure. Sid burns some treats in the accessory shop, much to a Moogle's dismay. Sykes has to look up the word motivation in the 13th edition of the dictionary, and one of the books in the Hollow Bastion library is a Kingdom Hearts Ultimania. Okay, I feel like you're trying to throw me off with a Sykes motivation one. <laughs> I feel like Sykes wouldn't need to look the word up if, if Roxas says it and then he learns it then, if that was real. Um, I could see the Ultimania making a cameo. I think Sykes looking the word up in the 13th edition of the dictionary is made up. Please. Nope. Oh, oh no! That's how he learns it. God damn it. That's how damn he learns it. it. Roxas says it, Sykes is like, what? And then looks it up in the 13th edition of the dictionary. I don't believe you. And there's like, motivation. He uses some big words. His quote is like, he sure knows some big words or something why like is, that. Why is Syax... <laughs> really funny. Why is he Syax such is a, a dit? Like, what do these words mean? Oh motivation, what is that? Uh, all right. Yeah. When Axel informs Roxas that Axel has to kill him. At the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 2, Axel buys him some sweet buns. Okay. Number two, Donald accidentally frightens the citizens of Thebes when he casts thunder in the Olympus world. The hey. citizens comment that Zeus must be angry. Okay. And three, Roxas asks Cog Cogsworth if he can borrow one of the suits of armor swords while Shion borrows his keyblade. Cogsworth re replies, be our guest. Oh man. That's so cute. Ah, uh, I think. Hmm. When would Donald be in Thebes to cast thunder? What what manga is that from? Or is it from well, a manga? It's when he's in the Olympus world. You answered that pretty quickly, so, so I think that's true. Hmm. <laughs> it was written in the question. Ugh. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Sweet buns is so random. <laughs> Sweet buns is so random. I feel like. <laughs> Along with a little sympathy card. Sorry, I have to kill you. He's sorry, sweet, sorry about your buns. impending murder. Please accept this, <laughs> these consolation pastries. I think the sweet buns thing is made up. That is incorrect. In no correct. way. No way. Come on. Really? Really? I'm sorry about murdering you. Here's some pastries. So what? Ha <laughs> so what happens actually is I read this one. And I did this one. Is that uh, Roxas brings ice cream to uh, Hainer Pence and Olette, but they phase through him. Uh, and then he drops the ice cream. Oh. So Axel's like, uh, want a sweet bond? Uh, is it the Cogsworth yeah. thing is made up? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, oh no. man. That's Wait. real. No, no, no. Oh, okay, that's fine. The, I'm glad. The but Donald it's... frightening the citizens. Damn it. Is, uh, oh, man. That would be really funny. The citizens of Thieves mistaking Donald for a god. For Zeus, yeah. <laughs> that would be extremely uh. funny. God, okay. Uh, yeah, Sam, this is okay. yours. Yeah. All right, final. So wait, there's no way I can win, right? I lost. <laughs> Uh, this I kind of want to. I, I want to add one more question at the end, okay. but I'll need Chain's help for it. Yeah, okay. sure. Okay. Right, okay. So Lexaeus is shown doing a chain link puzzle. Yensid welcomes Sora, Donald, and Goofy into the mysterious tower by feeding them cake. And when he explains the situation with the Heartless, his Heartless projection eats Donald's cake. Hmm. And three, Donald vehemently opposes the Hakuna Matata moto after Timon and Pumbaa tell the trio about it claiming that one has to be an active participant in order to affect change. Jesus. <laughs> Donald goes deep. <laughs> yeah. I think he goes a little too deep. I think... All I, knowing Donald. I think that's the lie. I think the Lexius thing is true. Yeah, I think the Donald thing is a lie. That's correct. Nice. Correct. All, All right. right, now that it's tied... All right, well, yeah. No, okay. he, he's Can't... one behind. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Even with that? Yeah, he, it's 15 to 16. So if, oh, if you get no. one more... We have How to draw about rocks. if we get this one more? All right, we can draw immediately. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, this one's for all the marbles. All right. Okay. All right, let's this just This is worth two points because okay. it's harder. <laughs> all right, gotcha. Yeah. All right, so one, Donald heals Sora. <laughs> two, when, Do when Sora lands in Traverse Town alleyway, he crashes into the garbage cans and he stands up with a cat ear headband on his head. And then three, at one point, Abu solo pilots the uh, magic carpet. Obviously, Donald heals Sora. That has to happen at least once. 
It's a true thing that happens both in the manga and the games, and fuck all the dull and naysayers. <laughs> Alright? It happened. If it didn't happen to me, it didn't really happen. Middle one with the trash can. Um, so Sora crash lands in Traverse Town, and he, he has cat ears yeah, on Yeah, like, the... after Destiny Islands, okay. he falls into Traverse Town out of the way, lands on some garbage, and stands up with a cat ear headband. Now, does the prostitute proposition him while he's still wearing the cat ears, or does he take them off by that point? That would be spoiling it, wouldn't it? That would I was trying to trick you. Abu How dare so you try and trick the Abu game is masters. just like Abu is just like in charge of the carpet like by himself. Yes. He's solo piloting it. I yeah. wonder if there's any precedence for that in the movie. I feel like that's probably true. Please tell me that Donald heals God. If you get if you get this one wrong, we're going to come into your house and hit and kill you. No. You. Oh, that's yeah, such you a, die instantly. That's Remember such that? a terrible non-prize. With the Sid cannon. Yeah. No. I think we're outside your door as we speak. These I'm... are fake backgrounds yeah. now. Oh god. <laughs> this is That's why it took us so long. Screens. Oh no. <laughs> See? Ha -ha, nothing is uh, I thought I, I thought I saw my backyard blip into view for a couple seconds on Shane's screen. Shit. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the cat ears thing is fake. Please tell me that Donald heals him at least once. Patrick regular Patrick comma first. Regular. Come on. <laughs> come on. You have won. Yeah! The manga, challenge. Yeah. The manga challenge has been won. I did it. Well, guys, you, get to live another you, got, day. you were going to kill me. My, my prize is that I get to live. My son will get to see another day. I'm assuming you would have taken his life as well. He gets oh, to no, live. He would have just him. watched, and then he has to live with the trauma. Oh, uh, well, at least, Ten he times worse. <laughs> at least he doesn't have to do that. Um, this was really fun. I feel like I learned a lot, but also lost a lot of brain cells. So it's an interesting dichotomy there. Correct. Um, thank you guys so much for for helping out with uh, with this project. I've been wanting to do this for a couple of months now. It was really fun. I hope you guys had fun trying to trick me and being deceptive. Uh, oh, always. You clearly it succeeded like way. roughly fifty percent of the time. So very well done. Very well done. And thank um, you. I, I guess that's it. Do you guys have anything else or like and subscribe? <laughs> yeah, you say it for me, so I don't have to. Yeah, smash yeah. that comment. You can't get mad at Pat for uh, milking his videos if that, I say it. Yeah, that's so right. You you do it. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to yell at someone, yell at me. But follow that's me why. On Twitter first. Yeah, do that. <laughs> yeah, oh. at, at uh, Samuel the Camel Chain Camel of Fire. Case. There you go. Yeah. Twitters are on the screen. That's the end of the video. Thanks. Thank fuck. Bye. <laughs> Bonk. Bye. <laughs>Hey, I uh, hope you like that. I know it was kind of different. Um, wasn't a whole lot of video games in there, but it was Kingdom Hearts. Well, eh? Yeah, you like it? You do the up thumb if you liked it. If you didn't, then I'll, I'll stop doing that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna waste your time doing the self plugs. You know, I'll have it in the description. All my stuff's down there. Do the. I don't want to edit in Twitter and Patreon, all the logos and stuff. It's a lot of work. So just go down there if you want to follow me on stuff. All right, fan art time. We got this Ralsei Presto by GS Man. Use that for my Delta Rune stream. By the way, check out the Delta Rune stream on the second channel over there. We got Lamp Presto by Rooted Corgi. It's kind of an interpretation if the Platinum Presto were a lamp. Spintato did this Platinum Presto. It seems he is counting in Roman numerals before being stabbed by the little Sim Crystals. Kind of, kind of dire. We got this Platinum Presto rendition by Cookie Draws on Twitter. Very well done. He's flinging stars all over the place. What a madman. And we got this rendition of Sora dressed up in Roxas's clothes uh, by Jordan. Cool stuff there. Huge thanks again to everybody who made this video possible. This was definitely a multi-person project. Here's something exciting. I commissioned an outro song uh, based off of the original Oopsie Daisy jingle that I used to play me in and out. Uh, Joey Matt DePerry or Nora Q. Rosa on Twitter did a really, really good job. I think she just knocked it out of the park with this. Uh, we're calling it Outroopsie Daisy. I hope you enjoy it as it plays us out from my face through the credits into the black void of whatever's happening next on YouTube if you got autoplay on. Turn that off if you don't. Unless it's one of my videos, then keep it on. And uh, have a great day or night. And stay regular.